All right, man, we're hitting up the Busy Bees, hot dog, stand, cart, truck, caboose, really. Reviews from the tub. Reviews from the tub. Gonna review shit. Except I'm in my car. You can see the reflection there. I got some, some French fries. I are, I'm already into this. Uh, check this out, y'all. Hand cut French fries. You put the potato in the machine, press the, push the lever, pull the lever, yank the lever. <laughs> Fresh cut fries. We also got here for lunch, my, my staple, a plain with ketchup and a chili cheese. Got to have the mustard on a chili cheese as recommended by Hot Dog Jace. All right, let's get into these. <clears throat> All right, man, I'm excited for hot dogs. I've seen this place. I've drove by it a few times, never stopped. Here we are, man. Now, I'm not going to do a comparison between Hot Dog Jay's because that was the best, and <laughs> Jay's a friend of mine. And also, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog truck. It's already a 10. A 10! A fucking 10! Oh, yeah. It's just a Sabret Dirty Water Dog, and it's amazing. We're just going with the plain with ketchup here first. It's a good hot dog, man. I'm enjoying this experience. Now, I can see on the menu from here, uh, plain, kraut, onion, cheese, chili dog, the works, chili cheese, and then super dog, an Italian hot dog. All pretty self-explanatory, except the works and super dog. I'm going to go find out what the difference is and participate. That's good. All right, let's get involved in this chili cheese dog here, man. It's... I feel like a hot dog stand, it's so important to have good toppings. Hopefully a homemade chili. It looked like, it didn't look like it came out of a can. Let's get down on this. Oh yeah. That is good. That's a fine chili. It's a little... Might be a little heavy on the onions, but yeah. It's got like a hot dog onion sort of flavor to it. That's good though. You don't have to order onions with your chili dog. It says on that sign, the best homemade chili sauce around. Now it's a hot dog connoisseur and a hot dog truck fanatic. I'd like to find the places it's comparing it to. Not just to have like a, a chili sauce off, but to also eat there but let's get to the action this is something i've never seen at a hot dog truck before fresh cut french fries you saw them in the intro there this is this is this is going to be a uh, well exciting oh yeah man it's it's a fr it's a french fry But I'm talking about, like, if you ever had a real French fry, if your French fry experience is a rider out of a frozen section, of, out of a bag out of the frozen section of your local market and grocer, you don't know. I wish these were a little bit crispier, but no, they're good. They're, never mind. They are greasy, but they did just come out of the oil. Oh, it's a real potato. It's not like the, you know, the store-bought ones have a nice little crust or not, not a crust, but you know what I'm saying. This, this, this man just cuts a potato and puts it in the oil. This is, this is good. This is all right. Mm-hmm. I'm just also amped because it's, uh, you know, where do you get French fries at a hot dog truck? We're doing good here. I see here on the menu too, I can read it from where I'm sitting. we got curly fries. Steak cut fries, chili fries, cheese fries. Oh, hot chocolate. You might need that today. Oh, the wind is whipping out there. Also, if you're wondering where you can get this delicious hot dog goodness, I am on the Hamburg Turnpike in Riverdale, I believe. I want to say the address is like 260. It's a caboose in a little open parking lot, so I don't know if it has an actual address. Uh... I know my company deals with the people across the street and I think their address is 259 Hamburg Turnpike. So if you put in 259 Hamburg Turnpike, 
oh, excuse me, literally go up two buildings, two lots. It's the caboose in the parking lot, all right? We're gonna go find out the difference between the Superdog and the works, and we'll be right back. All right, I found out what the Superdog is. It's uh, <coughs> mustard, raw onions, chili, and cheese, and I just said that the chili I found to be oniony, and you might not need onions with your chili, but I got it anyway, so here we go, man. Uh, this is where it's at. Also, if you follow this channel, you know that my palate is garbage and I can't taste flavors. So maybe it wasn't an oniony chili. The raw onions are coming through nice on this, boy. I'll tell you what. I also like that this man knows his business. <clears throat> and the second I mentioned chili, he said, you want mustard on there? Yes. Get mustard on your chili dogs, bro. Or bra. Lady. Do that. This is the spot, man. This is the local spot. I'm still going to get down to Hot Dog Jay's because that's my boy. And you get good banter from Jay. A nice guy in here, too. Don't get me wrong. Um, don't know the gentleman. But I got a feeling, knowing that this place is kind of right down the road, I am going to get to know him. So that's it, man. Make sure you check out Busy Bee Lunch. Bee spelled like the buzz, the, the stingy flower eaty bug. And that's it. I want to thank you for joining me for lunch. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Reviews from the Tub. Be greatly appreciated if you did. If you like this video, click like. If you didn't like it, click like anyway. Help me out. And that's it, man. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Later.